This will be a short video on my attempt to, actually successful attempt to fix the hold switch on my daughter's iPod Nano. Um, it locked up and uh, the iPod was unusable since <clears throat> the little locking mechanism could never be turned off. So the wheel was unusable and the iPod was unusable. I elected to try to go in and do something with it myself instead of sending it off to service since the warranty was of course over at that point. So here, here you have it, you see it on the screen, a little lock symbol, um, and here you have the tool I used to open it. Uh, most people would use something maybe plastic, but it has to be very thin and sharp to get between the metal back and the plastic front. So I start at the bottom of the iPod and slide the uh, paint scraper in between the back and the front and then work it up towards the top and slowly trying to pry without using too much force to begin to separate them. You'll have to do this on both sides and it's it's not that easy but if you just be if you're careful and and work with it you will you will get the two pieces apart. <clears throat> um, once you get them apart you see the insides and there are three screws that you'll have to remove with a small Phillips screwdriver, one there, one there, which is different than the other two, and the third one there. So remember that one in the second one was different, and don't mix them up. You'll, you'll have to also pull these small white tabs back to release the circuit board from, from the front so that you can get all the way inside. Before you do that, you'll need to pop the battery out and you can just use a thin screwdriver to lift that out, that hole, so they can get apart. Here they are apart, they don't come completely apart, but if you just pull them a bit away, you can get to the top left-hand part on the circuit board, and you see the pair of two solder, solder drops, the huge ones, those are mine. There's a small wire between two silver points that are just under that black piece, and if you bridge those two points just under that black plastic piece with a piece of wire and solder it in place, you'll turn that switch permanently off so that, so that it doesn't lock anymore. And uh, put it back together, just a reverse process, and you see the wheel works now, and that, but that lock uh, switch will no longer function. So you're, you just live without the, um, the lock switch. And uh, good luck. No guarantees, but uh, it did work for me.